hope you've all had a really really good week I'm really excited to film this vlog today it's gonna be a little bit different from what I normally do um, because I have a very exciting new addition to the sewing room um, this is Frankie by the way I think I've shown you Frankie on my videos before so this is my cat Frankie um, his full name is actually Frankenstein um, but we call him Frankie or Franks or Oi or you shut up <laughs> um, yeah because he can be a bit annoying sometimes because he's very verbal he meows quite a lot you'll probably hear a little bit of his meowing in this video um, so we're very excited aren't we Frankie to have a new machine for the sewing room so this is a cover stitch machine I um, I haven't actually tried a cover stitch machine before um, so but I have been excited to try one a lot of people rave about these um, if you've not come across cover stitch machines before they um, essentially give the finish that you see on a lot of ready-to-wear items um, especially things like sweatshirts and sort of jersey children's clothes as well I think um, I'd probably say they sort of look like an overlocker and are quite similar to an overlocker sorry out of the corner of my eye I can see Frankie trying to get into a plastic bag at the moment he's such an idiot um, yes yeah, so I'm really excited to have this um, I as you probably know make quite a lot of sweatshirts and I'm starting to make quite a bit of children's wear as well so I think this is going to be amazing for the clothes that I'm making at the minute so I'm sort of I've never done one of these so bear with me I'm literally I've not opened it you can probably see it's still sealed up so I'm literally just going to open it now for you to watch so I hope this goes okay anyway I'm just going to get started I will edit little bits of this out because it'll probably be just totally boring for you anyway um so Um, in a minute I'm going to take the camera off and um, or, or move it so that you can actually see inside the box as I go. Okay, so to get started, so this is a Brother CV3550 and it's called Top Cover Stitch Machine. Um, so yeah this is um, there's a picture on the front of the box I can't actually lift it it's so heavy um, you can see on the picture uh, there <laughs> um, it does look like an overlocker so um, I am just gonna get going and open this beauty right now for you okay so here we go I'm going in right. Oh, it's got that new smell. <laughs> Just to build the full picture for you. Um, okay, so this is all of the operation manual, and I think a cover in there as well for it. Maybe like a dust cover. Um, I should probably say while I'm opening this, um, I am no expert in these machines, and I actually I don't know that many people that have one of these machines. Um, so everything I'm telling you I'm guessing a lot of you don't have one of these machines might be interested in one of these machines so I am talking very much from um, a beginner um, novice into cover stitch machines perspective um, so I'll just get opening some of these things okay I don't know what these are some little foam pad things so they're in there I'm sure all will be revealed um, little plastic box here is this oh, some little bits and bobs accessories and tools in that little pl plastic box some needles as well there we go Sorry you can't see my face in this, I just didn't know what angle to get this in but I figured you'd want to, you'd be more interested in what's in the box than seeing my face anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that. 
Okay. Right, these are things that I am more familiar with. So we've got a pedal um, and power lead. So they just look normal like sewing machine and overlocker normal. Some more paperwork. Okay, I can see a bit of it in there. This is very, very, very exciting. So just take this off. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this and show you at the same time. Um Okay, let me just try and lift it out. And then I'll probably just move the camera around. Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. There you go. Oh my god, this looks so cool. Oh wow, 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 wow. It just looks like a mega overlocker. Um, okay, right. I'm just going to get rid of the cardboard box because as you can see now that is empty. Okay, I'm back. I've just got rid of the cardboard box so I can just carry on showing you the machine. So, there we go. It looks incredible. It does just look like a really mega overlocker. Okay, there's some threads already in there. I think that is because it's already threaded and then I just have to fix my own um, threads and attach them to those threads that are already threaded through. Um, so yeah, there you go. I'm going to go and have to read the operation manual to work out exactly how to use it. But I was thinking of showing you guys, um, once I've had a go with it, um, a little mini tutorial in a beginner's perspective of starting with a cover stitch machine. Um, I don't know if you'd be interested. I, I'm thinking because I'd be interested in that, um, because obviously I've not got one or used one before, so um, yeah, there we go. By the way, this is really heavy, I'm quite impressed that I'm able to lift it. Um, there's the tape on there, the blue bits is tape, so it's just holding bits on. I'll obviously remove all of that, but um, yeah. So, I don't really know where I'm going to put this, so, because um, my table's pretty full, uh, what do you think guys? Do you think I should try and squeeze it on here or do I move it onto the other table? I don't know. I could move it to near my cutting table. I don't know. But yeah, anyway, just so you can see the new addition to my sort of brother um, sewing machine family. Um, so the cover stitch CV3550. Hope you've all enjoyed that anyway. I'll be vlogging uh, normally again really soon. So I'm just going to put this down so I can wave. And I'll see you again really soon, guys. Take care. Bye.